Hi, I'm Carolyn Gage, and I want to tell you a little bit about my play, The Obligatory Scene, what it's about, why I wrote it, and why I think it's important. So The Obligatory Scene is a one-act play, and the title is actually a theater term for that one big scene that's absolutely essential in a play. Maybe it's the big murder scene or the big reveal. In my play, the obligatory scene refers to sexual intimacy as the obligatory scene in a lesbian relationship. So the play is about a young lesbian couple who are having intimacy issues. It's a butch femme couple. The butch is in law school and the femme is a graduate student in theater. It's got some traditional gender roles in the relationship. The butch, who's named Drew, is a survivor of child sexual abuse and she's doing some deep late stage recovery work. So right there, I feel the play is important. It centers a survivor, a lesbian butch survivor, no less, and one in late stage recovery. Now, rape culture traditionally does not want the survivor's story told, but that's pretty hard to avoid now with the Me Too movement. So the officially sanctioned survivor narrative is that she just picks herself up, dusts herself off, and gets right back in the old heteropatriarchal game because there's nothing like accommodation to signal that the survivor is all good again. But of course that's not true. And what distinguishes late stage recovery is, well, it's recovering. Going back and recovering the memories, recovering the history, recovering the stolen heritage, recovering the stolen culture, the community that's been lost the names. Late stage recovery is about making deep connections where there has been deep dissociation. So right there. In the play, Drew has arrived at a place in her recovery where accommodation is no longer good enough. She is interrogating the gender roles in her relationship and especially in her desire. She's looking at the connections between gender and oppression. What does it mean to say that gender is fluid when oppression based on sex is not? Robin Morgan said, quote, if I had to name one quality as the genius of patriarchy, it would be compartmentalization, the capacity for institutionalizing disconnection. And I want to say that again because it is the genius of Robin Morgan. If I had to name one quality as the genius of patriarchy, it would be compartmentalization the capacity for institutionalizing disconnection, the disconnect between the personal and the political. This is what's killing the planet. The disconnect between one's desire and one's politic. What does that even mean? The obligatory scene challenges many assumptions, not least of which are assumptions about so-called lesbian bed death. The play makes the startling suggestion in that at, at the very point where so many lesbians feel their relationship is ending, it may actually be on the brink of radical transformation. This is a play filled with courage, hope, deep compassion, and humanity. It's a play that loves the lesbian survivor all the way to the end of the line and then even beyond. And there are four young people taking this show across the ocean to perform at the International Dublin Gay Theatre Festival in May. They are traveling a very long way geographically, but that is nothing to the distance they are traveling metaphysically. I encourage you to put some wind in their sails and some coin in their pocket. So click on the link below for their GoFundMe site. And thank you.